Hello and welcome to a special episode of Insect Coin. Today we're doing a Chocobo breeding guide for Final Fantasy VII. I'm Tim. And I am Chris Blackscreen. Uh, so, let's get started. Uh, when you're at the point in the game when you have the high wind, uh, you'll be able to start doing a... Um, start breeding Chocobos. Uh, main point of which is to get a gold Chocobo where you can get anywhere uh, on the world map. So, first thing you need to do is to get some Chocobo stables. So if you speak to Chocobo Bill, um, he'll discuss uh, about raising Chocobos with you and give you the option to buy stables from him. Uh, in total you'll need six stables for this to work, so you might as well buy all of them now. Uh, earlier on in the game I think all the stables are already filled with Chocobos, so this yeah. is the first point in the game where you can really do the, do the whole Chocobo breeding aspect. Just about when the world's about to end, now he wants to sell his chocobos. Let's just say the best best time to start <laughs> raising giant monstrous birds <coughs> is when the world's about to end. So if you say take care of my chocobos, um, he'll say you need a chocobo stable, I can rent you one for 10,000 gil. And you can keep up to four chocobos in the fenced area outside. So how it works, you capture chocobos, they go in the fenced area, and then you can choose which ones you want to put in your stables, which we'll get to a bit later in this guide. Yeah, so there's lots of discussion, you can choose to rent it. Now, annoyingly, you can only choose to rent one. He doesn't give you the option to rent all six in one go. So you'll have to keep talking to him over and over again, each time saying, yes, rent me a stable, yes, rent me a stable, yes, rent me a stable, <laughs> which is really annoying. So let's get that done. So rent the table, rent the table, rent the table, rent the table, rent the table. <sighs> give me all your money, Billy. <laughs> be better, My name's not Billy. It'd be better if you just had the option of, would you like to rent, how many stables would you like to rent? Six. Here's six. <laughs> no. So, would you like to rent? Would you like to rent a stable? Yes. Would you like to rent a stable? Yes. <laughs> anyway, once you've done all of that, you can then go and speak to Chocobo Billy. Um, first, let's go off and actually capture some chocobos. Now, um, let's do a bit of prep before we get started on that. We're going to go off to see the Chocobo Sage, who lives in the little house, if you can call it a house, uh, in the ice area at the top of the map side of his house, in inverted mm. commas, uh, we have a green chocobo. Oh, he's so cute. Blech. He will um, vomit some material. Enemy skill. Awesome. So that's useful. Right, so then you can talk to this unusual bearded floating monstrosity that calls himself the Chocobo Sage. Do he have a tail as well? I think he has a tail and a weird hat. A very odd looking character. Well, why are we here, Tim? Uh, we're here to get some items we need uh, that will help us in raising chocobos. Um, primarily silic greens. Uh, so you have two types of things you can give to chocobos. Uh, you have greens and nuts. Uh, greens can be used to distract chocobos during fights um, so they don't run away. And nuts will be used uh, when they mate. So we'll get to that bit a bit later on. So first we're going to get some silic greens. Um, the other thing greens can be used for is to uh, level up the Chocobo's abilities for races, so when you race Chocobo's to improve their class. So the Chocobo Sage will have some very good items you can't get anywhere else, so you can see they're Cynic Greens. Uh, they're quite expensive, but it's definitely worth it. We did use them quite a lot, and it really helps level up your Chocobo in the races. And you can go back and get as many as you like. So, have a few Greens to get you started. Uh, the next thing we did is just outside the Bone Village, uh, if you get in a fight with the red dragons out here, um, you can steal carob nuts from them. Uh, you'll need carob nuts for the majority of the breeding. Mm. It's best to have around four or five, just in case you screw up. So you can have, I think three is the minimum you need. So mm. between three and five would be best. Um, what we would recommend as well is that you save the game before you do any breeding, and then if you don't get the outcome you're after, you can reload the game. Yeah. So, let's get to actually capturing some chocobos. In the ice area is where you can get um, the wonderful chocobos, which is something you'll need because you get different classes. Uh, you'll need to have chocobo law material with you, which you can, would have by now as part of the game. And then you can capture chocobos. Obviously, to capture a chocobo, you need to kill any enemies that are with it. And if the chocobo hasn't run away by then, you'll have it captured and it'll go to your stable. So then you can talk to Chocobo Billy in the stable and you'll be able to choose the option for moving Chocobos and moving it in. Which one are you going to put in the stables despite you only having one? 
Indeed. <laughs> uh, at this point, we'll tell you if it's a good, great, or wonderful chocobo. Um, you do need to have a, at least one wonderful chocobo at some point in the process, so it's good to get on now. Mm. It'll um, also tell you the gender, which is very important. Yes. And it, it's when you put it in the stables when it determines the gender. So if you don't get the gender you want, you can reload. So for the purposes of tracking, we're going to call this chocobo Mum A. So it's the mother of the first chocobo family. Right, so then we need to get a couple of great chocobos. Um, we can get these in the deal area, have the chocobo lower on, get in a fight near the chocobo feet on the map, distract it with some greens, and kill the monsters that are with it, and then you capture the chocobo. Nice and simple. So these ones shouldn't be as hard to get because the enemies are a bit weaker. Okay, so if you have stables available, you have the option to send it back to stables and then you'll be able to return to the Chocobo farm. Okay, and there's a couple of Chocobos there we've caught. So we will want a Chocobo of each gender now. So we want a male and a female. So you might want to keep catching Chocobos, so you've got plenty. And there's obviously the option of saving before you move them to make mm. sure you get the genders you want. Yeah. And as you can see, he's saying this is a great Chocobo. So if you come across anything that says a good chocobo or poor chocobo, uh, just let it go and go and catch another one. That is determined by the one you catch. So if it says great, it's always going to say great. So reloading a save point is not going to help. So we've got Dad B. Let's move this next one in. So we need a female, hopefully. So another great chocobo. We want to put it in the stable. Female, yes! And female gets a name. So this is B Mum B. So now I have Mum A, Mum B, and Dad B. So now we're going to want to do some breeding. But first, let's go off to the races. If you go to the races and win, you'll increase the rank of your Chocobo. So that's the Chocobo Racing Square in the Gold Saucer. Return to the stable and then you can have the option to breeding. Now, by increasing the rank of the chocobo, that will increase the chances of getting the different colored chocobos. So now we choose which ones we're gonna make. So we're gonna make um, Dad B and Mum B. You want to have at least one of your great chocobos at class B, is it? Yeah, I think at the moment we've got one at class B. So Mum B is class C, so we select her, and then if we go over to Dad B, there you go, he's currently class B. Uh, so the higher the class, the more likely you are to get the results you want. Um, but for now, class B should do. But you might need to keep reloading the game from a particular save point. Now you can use the carob nuts that we stole from the dragon outside the bone village. Say so, yes, okay. And then the Playing sexy eight. music in the background. And what do we have as a result? A blue chocobo, that's one of the ones we're after, so we would either want a blue or green chocobo, and this one's a female. Awesome, so, so we need to get a green male next. Yeah, so the first one's not too bad, male or female, um, green or blue, and then the next one you want to get will need to be the opposite, so in this instance we've got a blue female, we're going to want to get a green male. Okay, so what you need to do next is actually go off and get into 10 fights to simulate the passage of time because chocobos need a bit of a rest in between breeding, as we all do. <coughs> so then select <laughs> mating again and you choose the two you want to mate. And we're going to use Mum B and Dad B again. So Mum B. And Dad B. Okay, and this is the second instance of needing the carob nut. Yes. And what would you have it? We have got a green chocobo. So we've got a green, which is the one we wanted, and let's see what the gender is. It's a male. So you I have magic of editing. <laughs> yes, of course. That was the first time we did that. Uh, if you ever get a um, go to breed, just make sure you save just before. And if you don't get the result you want, 
reload the save. It's as simple as that. And if you're really struggling, take the chocobo to the gold saucer and rank them up a bit more. So we now have uh, brother and sister of family B. Now you go off and get in 10 fights, as you do. And at this point we'd have also ranked up the chocobos a bit in the races. Um, so to rank up, the best thing to do is to feed them some greens and increase their stats. Uh, and we recommend the Silic Greens that you get from the Chocobo Sage. Uh, I think at this point in the game we've used quite a lot of those already, so uh, we're going to just use the greens we have on hand. So we've got here a Brother B, Class B, and I'll even higher. Give the greens, speed increase, stamina increase, and you get a lot better. I think the Silic Greens increase all stats, so they're the best ones to use. <laughs> they are very pricey. Uh, yes, they are quite expensive. Okay, so we've gone off and uh, done some more upgrading there. Okay, and now perhaps one of the darker moments of Final Fantasy VII, where you need to get Brother B, who's now Class A, and Sister B, who's now Class B. Yes, you have to go ahead and breed with the brother and sister. I so. I don't know what to say. Giant bird incest uh, ensues. Give them the last carob nut. I'm not going to look. I turn my head at this. If you really feel bad for the birds in breeding, you could go off and do the whole process again, <laughs> but uh, it will take much longer. But you should be given then a black chocobo. Um, you will want the chocobo to be the opposite gender of your wonderful. And that is our inbred chocobo. Chocobo may have some deformities. Okay, so again, you will need to then go off and get into at least 10 fights for the passage of time so that the Chocobos will be able to breed again. And it's also recommended that you give them Silic Greens and level them up at the races. I think we increased ours to rank S. Yes, I think to get the final gold Chocobo, you're going to want them to be as high as possible. It's probably best to rank them all the way up to S rank. So what we're going to do now is get the inbred chocobo from its uh, parents being brothers and sisters and then we're going to breed it with a chocobo that's in the same generation as its grandparents. <laughs> so then we can choose Monet. That's the one. Now you uh, you want to use a Zeo nut for this one. Uh, at this point in the game you should have a Zeo nut from your loot uh, which you pick up. If you don't have any Zeo nuts uh, you can get some from Goblin Island from stealing from goblins, so that's one you can get. Um, at this stage in the game, you might just have some naturally anyway from picking things up in battles. Yeah. Okay, and if all things go well, you should have... Fingers crossed. Yes! The gold Chocobo. Now, the gold Chocobo will be able to travel anywhere on the world map, and it'll give you access to different areas. We've named our Chocobo Boko, which is a nod to Final Fantasy V fans. <laughs> okay, so now you've got the gold chocobo, we can take him out for a ride. So you speak to Chocobo Billy and select riding chocobos. Which one are we going to take? Of course we're going to take the golden one. Okay, Bocco, class C. You, at this point you don't really need to increase his class anymore, um, but you may find you want to do some more chocobo races if, if you enjoy doing them. There are some extra items you can get in chocobo races. There you go, we now have the Gold Chocobo, and you can also take the Gold Chocobo on the high wind, so you can get anywhere on the map quickly. So, we'll park over here, and in the top right hand corner of the map, there'll be an area that only a Gold Chocobo can reach. There'll be nowhere for high wind to land, and there'll be nowhere for submarine or anything else to dock. So the only way you can get to it is with the gold chocobo that can cover water and mountains and everything else. So climb up the side of the mountain and go down, which is what all of that faffing was all about. So all of the chocobo breeding was also you could get to these secret areas. There we go. What's in the cave? Shiny loot. Shiny loot. There is indeed shiny loot in the cave. Yes. One of the best pieces of material in the game. Which is Knights nice of the Round, which is a really, really powerful summon. Um, I mean, Knights nice of the Round alone is the reason most people want to do um, 
the Chocobo breeding. But there are some other bits as well. So the bottom right hand corner of the map, you'll see this little section of island here. And there'll be another cave. What's in this cave? Knights of the Square? No. But it uh, is reminiscent of a square. Fun interior here. And you get... Quadra! Da, 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 da. Uh, quadra materia is a support materia. Whatever magic you put with it, it will be done four times in a row. So it's pretty useful. Will it be... Can you link it with a summon? Uh, you can, apart from Knights of the Round. Knights of the Round is one of the only terms that doesn't allow you to link it, for whatever reason. Um, this is the next one. Uh, I don't think we ever really use this. This one is the HP MP swap. Um, so it actually flips your HP and MP round. I don't find it that useful, because then you'd have an HP of 999 and 9999 magic points. Having loads of magic points isn't really going to help you much when you die straight away. So, <laughs> there you go, it, it's there if you want to. Completely useless. Uh, and one of my favourite materials in the left hand side of the map, um, it's a command materia. Let's go pick it up. There we go. You can tell it's me controlling. And mime materia. So what the mime command does is it repeats the most recent action. So if you do cast a really expensive spell, you can cast it again for free. And there's amazing. our Chocobo Bocco on the high wind, feeding on his little feeding pen. And it looks perfect. Good Chocobo. Well, I hope you found this Chocobo breeding guide useful. Thanks for watching. Thank you.